Hello everyone, welcome to the course Electronic Circuits and Analysis. Now we are in the module Linear Wave Shaping Circuits. And today's topic is Frequency Response of RC Low Pass Filter Circuit for Sinusoidal Input. So let's begin. The contents that we are going to cover in today's class is Introduction followed by Frequency Response of RC Low Pass Filter Circuit for Sinusoidal Input, Magnitude and Phase Response, Output voltage equation followed by summary. Linear wave shaping. Altering the shape of the non sinusoidal signal by transmitting it through a linear network is called linear wave shaping. As I mentioned earlier in the course objectives, linear wave shaping circuits are of two kinds one is RC low pass filter circuit and RC high pass filter circuit. There we said that we need to apply the inputs non sinusoidal signals which are something like your uh, step input pulse input square wave input and a ramp input then they try to alter the shape of the input signal as per your requirement as an output signal okay but here we will be looking at how does the output of the rc circuit is going to look like when the input is a sinusoidal input signal okay so our topic today is a response of an rc low pass filter circuit for the sinusoidal input okay right let me draw a circuit so let us consider uh, uh, two elements r and c which are in series okay so again i have considered the two elements r and c which are in series let me apply an input like this and let it be denoted with vi of t here also i have applied an input vi of t but do you find any difference between these two circuits so as of now there is no difference but you can get the difference depending upon where you take the output suppose if i was taking the output across the capacitor c then i call this circuit as rc low pass filter circuit okay if i take the output across a resistor r then i call this circuit as rc high pass filter circuit okay depending upon where i take the output i was calling it as either rc low pass filter circuit or rc high pass filter circuit okay so this is rc low pass filter circuit and this is rc high pass filter circuit right okay there is another way of representing the same rc low pass filter circuit and rc high pass filter circuit okay both are same but you could see normally these kind of representations in your textbooks so that is why i was showing even this kind of representation also right so when i take the voltage across the capacitor i call it as rc low pass filter when i take the voltage across the resistor then i call the circuit as rc high pass filter circuit right okay so our task today is to start the linear wave shaping circuits and there are primarily two circuits one is rc low pass filter circuit rc high pass filter circuit we begin with rc low pass filter circuit and today's class we are going to learn about the sinusoidal input that is being applied to the rc low pass filter circuit and we'll try to understand how does the output input relationship what is the magnitude response what is the phase response and finally we'll look at a generalized output voltage equation in today's class right okay let us uh, discuss a very important concept called time constant okay so i have considered here an rc low pass filter circuit because the old output is taken across the capacitor so output is denoted by y of t and input is denoted by x of t okay so this is a standardized equation for charging okay so this is called as standard charging equation y of t is equal to y naught into 1 minus e power minus t by tau where tau is called the time constant okay tau is given by rc okay so tau is given by this r into c is what is tau okay so when i plot the graph between time on x axis and y of t on y axis then it may look something like this okay so for example as t tends to infinity what is my output y of t is being given by 
e power minus infinity is 0 so 1 minus 0 is 1 so 1 into y naught is y naught okay so as t tends to infinity my output is going to be y naught right this is the maximum value okay this is the maximum value you could see that my output starts rising slowly and when once it has reached to the maximum value that is given by y naught it has stopped at uh, y naught okay let me consider a time which is called as tau okay tau stands for time constant and let be denoted with tau here so at t is equal to tau okay the output is found to be okay when t is equal to tau means what e power minus 1 so 1 minus e power minus 1 is found to be 0 0.632 okay so at t is equal to tau my y of t is found to be 0 0.632 times y naught where y naught is the final value okay y naught is the final value right so this tau is called as time constant so how do i define the tau tau can be defined as the time that is required for uh, taking 63.2 percent of its maximum value okay of its final value right so the time taken by the output in reaching the 63.2 percent of its final value is what is called as time constant okay let me take it as t is equal to 5 tau when t is equal to 5 tau what is my output is given by my output is roughly given by e power minus 5 okay so 1 minus e power minus 5 is what is i can get it as 0 0.993 times y naught so 0 0.99 means it is almost close to 1 so that means my y of t is going to be y naught only okay so that means uh, at t is equal to 5 tau my output is almost uh, equal to the final value the value that you could ob obtain only when t is equal to infinity the circuit is almost going to reach that value okay so the capacitor requires a minimum of 5 tau time seconds for reaching its maximum value okay here the maximum value is y naught and for reaching it it requires a 5 tau time seconds okay right tau is defined as time constant and is determined by rc okay so let us consider an rc circuit second rc circuit and third rc circuit okay so here i was considering three rc circuits okay now we need to estimate what is vc1 what is vc2 and what is vc3 right so the voltage across the capacitor in either of the circuits is same as 10 volts only why because the input is 10 volts the output across the capacitor is going to be 10 volts okay so in all the three cases the voltage across the capacitor is 10 volts only then what is the difference when voltage across the capacitor is all 10 volts only then what is the difference the difference is the time constant okay the difference is the time constant how much is the time that is required by the capacitor to reach to its maximum value in this case the input is 10 volts so in order to reach the 10 volts what is the minimum time that is required the minimum time that is required is 5 tau and the tau is given as 0.1 for the first case tau is given as 1 millisecond for second case tau is given as 10 milliseconds for third case okay so what is that we can observe here is as the input voltage applied in all the three circuits is same the voltage across the capacitor is also the same but the time the each capacitor has taken in reaching towards this 10 volts is different in the first case it is 0.5 milliseconds in the second case the capacitor need or taken 5 milliseconds to reach to this 10 volts and in the second case it has taken mostly 50 milliseconds in reaching towards this 10 volts okay so that is what is the difference though the voltage across each of the capacitor in either of the circuits is same but the time the capacitor has taken in reaching to that value has got different okay that is dependent on 5 tau okay 
now let me show you another three different type of circuits okay this time i would like to change the input voltage that is applied so in the first circuit i made it as 1 volt in the second circuit 10 volts in the third circuit 100 volts so that i have made the time constant rc as same in all the three circuits okay rc is 1 kilo ohm into 1 microfarad that is 1 millisecond so rc is made constant for all the three circuits but the input applied to each of the circuit has changed but even then what is the voltage uh, observed across each of the capacitor means same as the input voltage that is 1 volt 10 volts and 100 volts then what is the difference what is the observation what is our understanding from these three circuits from these three circuits even though the input is either 1 volt 10 volts or even 100 volts still that 1 millisecond is more than enough for the capacitor to charge to that maximum value whatever it is okay so charging the capacitor is not dependent on what the input voltage you are applying it all depends on what the time constant that you have provided okay phi tau time constant phi tau seconds is more than enough for the capacitor to reach to the maximum value okay let it be 100 volts or 10 volts or 1 volt right okay so let us have some important points that what we have to keep it in our mind about this capacitor so capacitor starts charging when current enters into it okay and the voltage across the capacitor does not depend on value of the capacitor in the first case we have seen that capacitor values have been changed where the input is being made constant then we have understood that the voltage across the capacitor is not dependent on the value of the capacitor it simply depends on what is the time constant okay it simply requires phi to time seconds for uh, reaching to the maximum value similarly we have understood in the second set of circuits the time taken by the capacitor in charging to the applied voltage doesn't depend on the value of the input voltage applied so even though the input applied voltage is 100 volts still phi tau time seconds is enough by the capacitor to reach to that 100 volts so that means your capacitor is not dependent on the input voltage while reaching to its maximum value only thing that it required a phi tau time seconds that's all so lastly we can conclude that it requires either phi tau time seconds either to completely charge or discharge okay so we can conclude that capacitor requires a minimum of phi tau time seconds for either to completely charge or discharge the given value right okay now the question is why these two circuits are being given the names as low pass filter circuit and high pass filter circuit okay so as the element that is there in either of these circuits is a capacitor if we know about the capacitor then we can easily come to know that why the names are being given like this we know that xc is equal to reactance offered by the capacitor is equal to 1 by omega c where omega is equal to 2 pi fc okay so we all know very well about this equation so with increase in frequency or with a decrease in frequency or let me say something like an ideal values let f is equal to 0 then what is the reactance offered by the uh, capacitor xc when f is equal to 0 xc is uh, found to be infinity when xc is infinity means this is open circuit when this is open circuit no current can flow through the resistor r that means drop across r is zero that means my output voltage is same as the input voltage okay when draw no drop across r means output voltage is same as the input that means for low frequencies or when f is zero hertz the output voltage is same as the input voltage that means the circuit is going to pass the low frequency signals okay the circuit is going to pass the low frequency signals for very large frequencies or when f is equal to infinity x is going to be zero x is going to be zero means it is going to be shorted shorted means output voltage is zero that means for large frequencies or when f is equal to infinity output is going to be zero that means the circuit is not passing the input signals onto the output side when signals are very high frequency signals okay so low pass filter circuit is passing the low frequencies and attenuating or rejecting the high frequencies right in a similar way we can understand this circuit rc high pass filter circuit when uh, frequencies are low 
let us say when zero frequency x is infinity when this is infinity that means open circuit open circuit means no drop no drop means output is zero for low frequencies output is zero that means the circuit is not passing the low frequencies okay when f is infinity x is zero x is zero means this is shorted this is shorted means output is same as the input for higher frequencies that means this circuit is going to pass higher frequencies and it is going to attenuate or reject lower frequencies that is why the names are being given as rc low pass filter and rc high pass filter okay so just remember this particular equation that will be enough for understanding why this circuit where you are taking the voltage across the capacitor is called as rc low pass filter circuit and where you are taking the voltage across the resistor is called as rc high pass filter circuit okay i will also show you the graph between frequency and the capacitor which is going to decrease with respect to frequency okay so with increase in frequency the reactive capacitance is going to decrease right okay so now we will consider the frequency response of rc low pass filter circuit for sinusoidal input let vi of t be the sinusoidal input right let us consider a current i of t that is flowing through the circuit when you apply the KVL, you can write that VI of T is equal to R into I of T plus XC into I of T, right? At very large frequencies, XC is zero. Just now we have seen that and capacitor becomes short circuited. Then your I of T is given by VI of T by R, okay? Then my V naught of T is given by, as V naught of T is given by XC into I of T, as XC is zero, V naught of T is zero. So for large frequencies, just now we have seen that my output is going to be zero because this is a low pass filter circuit. Okay, low pass filter circuit means it passes the low frequencies and it rejects the high frequencies. Okay. Now let us see the transfer function of this particular circuit. Transfer function is given as V naught of S by V i of S. Okay, where V naught of S is the uh, Laplace transform of the output function by the Laplace transform of the input function. In order to get the transfer function of this circuit, we need to get a relation between input and the output. Okay. So, how do I get the relation between input and the output? My output is given as input times xc by r plus xc. Okay. On what basis I can write this equation? By applying voltage division rule. Voltage division rule means because R and C elements are in series, I can apply the voltage division rule. So that is why I have written V naught of T voltage across the capacitor is given by source voltage that is V i of T into X C by R plus X C. Okay. Right. Then applying Laplace transform on both sides, I could see that V naught of S is equal to V i of S into X C by R plus X C. Now the transfer function is given as X C by R plus X C where X C is given by 1 by SC where S is equal to J omega. Okay. When I replace that XC is equal to 1 by SC, I can get an expression like 1 by 1 plus SCR. Okay. This is the transfer function of this circuit. When I represent in terms of frequency, okay, as S is equal to J omega, then I represent in frequency, I call it as 1 by 1 plus 2 pi F CR. Okay. S is equal to J omega. S is equal to J omega, where omega is equal to 2 pi f. Omega is equal to 2 pi f. Okay. So then I will be f is h of f is equal to 1 by 1 plus 2 pi f CR. Right. This uh, equation I can write it as 1 by 1 plus J f by f h, where f h is 1 by 2 pi R C. The upper cutoff frequency is denoted with f h and is given by 1 by 2 pi R C. Right. So till now we don't know which frequencies need to be considered as low frequencies and which frequencies need to be considered as high frequencies. Now you have got that uh, upper cutoff frequency has been given by 1 by 2 pi RC. This upper cutoff frequency is now dependent on the circuit elements R and C. Now you can decide that okay up to what frequencies you can treat you can ask the circuit to treat as low frequencies and after what frequencies you can ask the circuit to treat as high frequencies so that it is going to reject. So any frequencies below FH are being passed by the circuit, any frequencies above FH are being rejected by the circuit. 
okay so the upper cut off frequency will be helpful for us in uh, either passing or rejecting our desired frequencies okay right so now i'll be considering the magnitude and the angle okay i'll be considering the magnitude and the angle the magnitude of this h of f is given as magnitude of 1 is 1 magnitude of a plus jb is root over a square plus b square then uh, i can write it as root over 1 1 plus f by fh whole square and in a similar way angle of h of f is given as angle theta is equal to angle of 1 is 0 angle of 1 plus j f by fh is tan inverse of f by fh so minus tan inverse of f by fh okay so i have got my magnitude and i have got my angle phase right now let us consider some cases for frequency so that i can uh, uh, understand what is my gain and what is my angle is okay so let us consider the first case f is equal to zero h when f is equal to zero h when i substitute in the gain equation my gain is found to be exactly one what is the meaning of gain is equal to one gain is output voltage by input voltage so that means my output is same as the input that means my circuit is passing my input signals towards the output side right that means my signal is passing towards the output side so low frequencies are being passed by the circuit when f is zero my angle is going to be zero right so for the second case when f is less than fh that means f by fh is less than one when f by fh is less than one when i scale that small value it is further reduced that means i can neglect this uh, whatever within the square term when compared to one then it is almost approximately equal to one that means as long as my f is less than fh my output is very close to input that means my circuit is still passing the input signals to the output side okay for all the frequencies less than fh and my angle is likely to be when f is equal to fh it is 45 as f is less than fh its angle is supposed to be less than 45 okay so that is why my angle is in between 0 to 45 when f is equal to fh it is when i substitute f is equal to fh it is 1 by root 2 so when my gain is 1 by root 2 my output is 0 0.707 times vi 1 by root 2 value is 0 0.707 that means my output has got reduced earlier initially it is 1 now it is only 0 0.707 times of vi and my angle is going to be exactly 45 when f is equal to fh okay when f is greater than fh okay when f is greater than fh f by fh is greater than 1 when it is greater than 1 the square of that larger value is further larger when the denominator is very larger in magnitude then my gain is going to get reduced and it is approximately equal to 0 in a similar way the my phase angle is given for this case is in between 45 to 90 degrees okay because only when my f is equal to infinity my angle is going to be 90 degrees so here it has to be less than 90 degrees and it should be greater than 45 degrees because my f is greater than fh when my f is greater than fh my angle has to be greater than 45 and because my f is not equal to infinity my angle should be less than 90 degrees okay so when f is equal to infinity my gain is found to be zero because an f is infinity one by infinity is zero so my gain is going to be zero that means for larger frequencies or when the frequencies are very very high the uh, circuit uh, output is almost zero that means my circuit is not passing my input signals towards the output side when my frequencies are very very large okay so this is uh, what we can understand from the frequency response of rc low pass filter circuit for sinusoidal input i'll show you how does the magnitude response phase response are going to look like with these values okay i have considered some uh, five cases and for each case i have understood what is my gain and what is my angle and i'll try to plot the magnitude response and the phase response okay so magnitude response magnitude response is a plot drawn between frequency and the um, gain of the circuit okay so this is how the magnitude response is going to be because when f is equal to 0 my gain is 1 and my gain is keep on reducing as frequencies keep on increasing so that is why my gain is keep on reducing as frequencies keep on increasing right and this maximum gain is denoted with av of max and the gain at which it is 0 0.707 times the maximum gain the frequency is denoted with fh 
okay at f is equal to fh my gain is denoted by 0 0.707 times v, a v max right then when i plot the phase response phase response means on x axis it is frequency and on the y axis it is angle okay so as the angle is negative i have taken this direction okay so when i plot the response okay i should start with zero then at f is equal to fh my angle has to be 45 degrees and as i increase further only at f is equal to infinity it needs to become 90 degrees okay so when i plot it it is going to look something like this exactly at a frequency of h my angle is going to be 45 degrees and as i increase it reaches to 90 degrees only when my f is very large that is moving towards the infinity okay so these are the magnitude response and the phase response of an rc low pass filter circuit when a sinusoidal input is applied to it right okay now let us look at the definition of low pass filter circuit so the low pass filter circuit is a circuit which passes only low frequency signals and attenuates high frequency signals when passed through a network over a certain cutoff frequency and it is determined by rc time constant okay so now we can now we can understand in a much better way what exactly is a low pass filter circuit is okay so we have seen what is a low pass filter circuit and now we have understood what frequencies can be allowed to pass through the circuit and what frequencies can be rejected by the circuit okay so it all depends on what is your cutoff frequency and my cutoff frequency is determined by fh is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc so that any frequencies less than fh will be passed by the circuit and any frequencies above fh will be rejected by the circuit right okay in a similar way I can uh, have a definition for high pass filter where it passes only high frequency signals and attenuates all the low frequency signals. Okay. Again, uh, fortunately, in this case also, the cutoff frequency is given by the same expression that is 1 by 2 pi RC. Okay. But we know, we know that the RC low pass filter circuit and RC high pass filter circuit both are being different depending upon where I was taking the output. Okay. So anything which is greater than the cutoff frequency will be passed away by the high pass filter circuit and anything less than the cutoff frequency will be uh, rejected by the high pass filter circuit, right? Okay. Now, lastly, we'll uh, look at this output voltage equation. This is the output voltage equation, uh, generalized output voltage equation. So you need to un understand what exactly is this equation is. So V naught of T is equal to Vf minus Vf minus Vi into E power minus of T minus Ti by tau. Okay. So where Vf is output voltage at T is equal to infinity and Vi is output voltage at T is equal to Ti. So normally people may think that Vi means input voltage. No, Vi means output voltage only, but at T is equal to Ti, where Ti is time at which input is applied. Okay, where Ti is time at which input is applied. Okay, and tau is normally stands for time constant. Okay, tau is normally stands for time constant. Okay, right. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.